Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel for another Sophisticated Saturday where together we work through my to-do list and get things done around the house. I'm starting upstairs in Henry's room and I washed and dried his laundry this morning so I am going to get to folding it. The kids' laundry for some reason just seems to take forever. Number one, they have a lot of clothing. And number two, I probably wait a little too long in between washing their clothing. So I have a lot to do. I only had part of it that I pulled out of the dryer because it wasn't totally dry. So I grabbed just a little bit to get started on folding while I let the rest finish up in the dryer. And then I grabbed it and continued on my folding. Even though Henry has a ton of laundry to do and just a lot of clothing, I kind of like washing the kids' clothes because I'm able to set up a show or a podcast and just kind of listen to something. Even if it's a show, I usually am focused on folding the laundry or whatever I'm doing if I'm cleaning or something and just relax a little bit while I get the folding done. It's clearly a very mindless task, but I just don't mind having that opportunity to do a mindless task. I have been bringing my phone around with me and listening to YouTube videos, a lot of podcast style YouTube videos. So I would love to hear from you because I've gone in a lot of different directions with the type of YouTube videos that I like to listen to. So of course, besides me, what other YouTube channels do you love watching? Or is there a certain genre that you're really interested in? Especially if it's one of those podcast styles, I would love to have any of your recommendations just because I feel like I'm constantly looking for background noise in the house and something to just listen to. My husband's always asking me like, what is that person you're listening to? You keep listening to the same person. Like, what is that voice? What the heck are they talking about? I'm like watching some drama things or videos that are covering scams or celebrities or things like that. I'm like I said, all over the place, but would love to hear your recommendations for favorite YouTubers or YouTube style podcasts. Whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. I also wanted to provide a quick job update. I have really started this part-time flexible job that I've been talking about if you haven't been following that is really ramping up, I guess. And it's definitely not ramped up to where it will be or could be if I want it to because again, I can determine how much work I wanna take on or not take on but it is slowly building up because I'm still kind of learning the process. And I think as I learn more and as there's more available work, I can raise my hand and say, give me more, give me more, give me more. But I've been trying to figure out if this is gonna be a good job for me and it's still really hard to tell, but I think it is just this really great opportunity. I'm kind of trying to figure out what the, what the catch is here. Like I've said, I basically make a percentage of these documents that I negotiate. So a lot of this is gonna be efficiency, 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 and I just just don't know how efficient I'm going to be able to be with these documents but the funny thing is the type of work that I'm doing I have a lot of experience with in the past and one of the attorneys that I'm shadowing right now to understand the new process at this job he <laughs> told me and I didn't know this that we had previously negotiated some agreements and deals 
on the opposite sides of one another. So he was like, I know you know what you're doing because you've done this work before just on the other side of things. A lot of it, again, is merger and acquisition related. And a lot of this is sell side work. So if a company is trying to sell, they would work with us to help get those documents going. And I, in my previous roles, have done more buy side in terms of mergers and acquisitions, acquisitions. So kind of interesting to come in to the job with that perspective of being on the other side so I can think what the other side might do. But just funny that we had worked together in the past. He said whenever he's trying to email me now that he has to be really careful to use my new email address instead of my old work email address at the company I no longer work at. Um, but just kind of funny and thought I would share a quick job update. So my weeks are getting a little bit busier than they were before, meaning there are more tasks to get done on the weekends. A lot of times I will do laundry during the weeks when I can and avoid it on the weekends, but now, since the weeks are a little bit busier, I am doing more tasks and cleaning tasks, laundry, that type of stuff on the weekends again. I got all of his laundry folded, I hung up some stuff, and then I washed all of his sleep sacks and I am changing out the crib sheet. I try and do that every time I wash his laundry and just leaving one of the sleep sacks there on the side of the crib because that's what he'll use tonight. Last but not least, I did wash the nursing pillow cover and this one is one of my favorite nursing pillows, but oh my gosh, it is so so confusing and complicated to put the cover on it. I don't know why it shouldn't be that hard, but I do love it. I just hate washing the cover and trying to figure out how to put it back on again. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way Okay, so I am going to be making some... Hold on, let me grab some butter. Okay, so I have this box of Rice Krispies. A while back, I made ice cream sandwiches and I actually shared it on YouTube in a sophisticated Saturday video. And we don't really eat Rice Krispies as cereal. So I am going to make some Rice Krispie treats, but I found this recipe for brown butter Rice Krispie treats and everyone in the comments and reviews that they are like so much better, really flavorful. And you're supposed to use a full box of Rice Krispie treats. I just used a little bit for those ice cream sandwiches. So we're gonna give it a shot with just part of it. And I have my pan here preheating, but it seems like a very simple recipe. So it's a whole box of Rice Krispies, two bags of mini marshmallows, and then it is half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So. I can have the whole recipe in my head, it's that easy. I am just going to get this butter brown until it's nice and bubbly and we'll turn it into some Rice Krispie treats and see how it goes. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this Weight off my shoulders, cause I know yesterday ain't coming back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold. I will listen to the ocean, let its unsaid words be spoken, and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves. Oh, I will. These Rice Krispies ended up being absolutely delicious. I think it just added a little extra something. I will say when Jim came home and he tried them, he was like, you do know there are some like black flecks in the Rice Krispies, right? Like what is there dirt in there? What is that? It's like, no, it's brown butter. It's meant to be like that. So if you are using this for something where you don't want it to look like that, like I don't know if you're coloring it for a certain holiday or something, um, just keep that in mind that there can be some brown or black flecks within it, but it does taste 
I think better than traditional Rice Krispies. Okay, now I'm gonna do a quick pantry refresh and clean up here. The kid food section was out of control, so I need to clean that up. I am also grabbing a couple of other bins that were a mess. There's some things that needed to be put into Ziplocs, like I had some extra flour there that I put into a Ziploc, so it was stored a little bit better for long-term storage. And just wanted to tidy all of these up every now and then I just need to pull them out, do a quick rearranging, see if anything's expired and kind of do an inventory, see if there's any meals that I can cook and use up things that are almost gone or almost expired. I've been doing a really good job for some reason with the freezer. We did get a quarter cow again. So I think there was a reason why I wanted to start using the freezer stash up a little bit. Our upstairs freezer is really getting low on food which I kind of want right now and downstairs is basically all beef so <laughs> I think I've done a really good job with that but need to work on the pantry a little bit now also did a load of whites today. It's just kind of one of those days where there's a lot of laundry. I am doing my classic steps of sorting laundry. I lay out Jim's clothing, especially when he's home, which he is today. He can fold all of his laundry. He is very capable of doing that. I just lay it out so it doesn't get too wrinkly right after it comes out of the dryer. And then I get to fold my laundry and my laundry for some reason, whenever we do whites, it's just not that bad so i don't mind doing the white load of laundry that much it's the darks that for some reason again i have tons and tons of clothing every time we do the load Okay, I have a couple more things to share with you for this sophisticated Saturday. Number one, I think I've been mentioning a few times, you may have seen that I am working on a few things in my Etsy shop. And one of the things I am adding, I'm adding a couple of different variations of this. I am doing like pregnancy, signs like the ones I used to hold up that would say I was 14 weeks along or 20 weeks along and baby name signs as well as baby milestone cards that say five months, six months, seven months, eight months, all of that stuff. So I have a couple of discs that I'll show you that I'm going to work on painting. I have a few different colors that I can do and different styles of brush strokes. So I'm either going to fully paint them and have them be one solid color or do like brush strokes and have it be a little bit more artistic. And then there's lots of different styles of what I'm doing on the covers of the discs. You can check out my Etsy site if you're interested. If there's anything custom that you ever want me to do, please reach out to me and I would love to help you. I am way big into crafting and doing all this type of stuff. So if you don't see it on my Etsy shop or on my website, I'm kind of trying to move more towards getting things on Etsy just because it obviously reaches a broader audience and it's a pretty easy platform to use. Um, you can check both places though. And again, just reach out to me if there's anything in particular you ever want or something completely customized. Like I had somebody reach out to me that had a customized logo that they made for a bachelorette party and wanted me to make a bunch of little labels to stick on shot glasses. More than happy to do random things like that if it's kind of in my wheelhouse. So reach out to me and let me know if that's ever something you're interested in. 
And today, basically what I was doing is I was making all of these color swatches and making a bunch of samples for images for the website. And I did make some that I photographed so I could put those on the website as well. And here's a few examples of a couple of different things like I was talking about, some of the final afters with the vinyl images on top of it. Last but not least, we are doing a home workout. I was doing a leg workout with a little bit of cardio. So I'm doing some step ups, some squats, lots of different things here, but I'm trying to share a few more of my home workouts at the end of some of my videos, just because I do like to work out at home a lot. And I know it can be really hard to motivate or come up with ideas of moves to do when you are working out. So even though this is very quick and fast paced, I do like circuit style workouts. So there's a few moves that I do and then I repeat them and do the whole circuit again. Hopefully this maybe sparks some ideas for movement you can do at home. You can see most of it. You don't need a lot of equipment. Some weights are nice, or you could even do step ups on the stairs or do any of this without weights. Or again, hopefully this just motivates you to get a little bit of movement in, in addition to marking some things off of your to-do list. So that is it for today's Sophisticated Saturday. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, I'd really, really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. Of course, always subscribing to my channel really helps. Share this video with a friend or family member who needs a little bit of motivation this weekend. But until next time, I will see you all later. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all